Hi, this is Matt from TPSTool.com with a quick video on how to reset your TPS or throttle position sensor uh, back to the factory defaults. Um, whether you want to be sure that your brand new bike was set properly from the factory because it's not unusual for them to come slightly off from the factory, or you've been fiddling around and you want to go back to the factory defaults so you can start again, or for whatever reason. Uh, it's really easy to do. We're going to demonstrate using our TPSTool.com Pro Powered Meter, which we have connected here to our KTM throttle body. You can do it you can accomplish the same job, of course, with the pigtail that we sell, um, but it's much easier to demo the powered meter sets we're going to use here. Uh, so let's get started. The first step is to determine which style of throttle body you have. There's two basic styles. Um, the first style has a completely separate idle circuit, and adjusting the idle does not affect the TPS reading. The second style, which this is, um, adjusting the idle actually opens the throttle plate, which does affect the TPS reading. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is figure out which style you've got. Uh, we've got our pro-powered meter from tpstool.com connected to our throttle body here. This is from a KTM 350SX. Um, first thing you're going to do is grab a hold of the idle with the tool connected and give it a twist. Don't have to turn, you don't have to turn it much at all. Um, and you'll notice the numbers are changing quite a bit over there. That's because this is the style that adjusting the idle moves the throttle plate. If you had the other style, adjusting the idle would not change the numbers at all. So if you have the style where uh, where the idle does not affect the TPS reading, that's the easiest, uh, so I'll cover that real quick. All you do is look up your factory default setting. Most of the KTM bikes of that style, the factory default setting is going to be 0 0.60 volts. Okay, all you need to do then is loosen the screw and adjust the TPS back to that setting, tighten the screw, and you're done. Don't fiddle with the idle or anything. Super simple. This style, and I'll show you why that affects the reading, uh, this is where the cable goes. And you can see that as you, you know, as you as you twist the throttle, it opens the throttle plate, and you'll see there's a little notch on the wheel here. And the, the this is the throttle screw, and the pin actually just pushes on that notch. So as you turn the screw, it actually moves the throttle plate and changes the the position of the throttle plate, which changes the TPS reading. So on this style, um, super simple. But what you need to do uh, is close the throttle plate all the way before you set it back to factory default. That way you know exactly what the position of the throttle is. Um, so super simple. Take a look at the reading that you have now. Remember it, 0.54. Okay, this is going to help us remember how to set the idle back to where we had it, 0.54. Now start turning the idle out to close the throttle plate until the numbers stop changing. Almost there. There we go. They're not really changing. Okay, it's now I'm at 0.43. Okay, so I was at 0.54 before, now I'm at 0.43, which is approximately 0.12. So that's uh, about 0.12 of adjustment for the idle. Okay, so remember that. Now I'm at 0.43, and factory default for this style is typically 0 0.40 volts. It'll always be in the service manual, um, but most of the KTMs of this style are 0 0.40 volts. So what we're going to do now, just grab our driver, loosen the screw. Some of the styles have two screws in the TPS. No big deal, loosen them both. We're going to try and adjust this to 0 0.40. I'm just going to get close. You can sit there and it's really crazy sensitive. So if it's your bike, you can spend a long time doing it. I'm just going to rough it here for the video real quick. So we'll pretend, whoops, and get it close to 0.4. Oh, come on. Crazy sensitive. There we go. Snug that down. Okay. So now we've got 0 0.403, which, okay, you'd, be, you'd spend a little bit more time if this was a real bike, but that's pretty close. Um, now remember that to get from where the idle was to fully closed took about 0.12 of adjustment. So we're going to turn this back up to point, uh, 0.52. So you start cranking away on the idle screw. So you're back at 0.52. Almost there. 0.52. Two. There we go. So now you have a TPS that has been reset to the factory default of 0 0.40 with the throttle plate fully closed. And we've turned the idle back up and the idle should be approximately where it was before we began. And you're ready to go, ready to attach that tuner, knowing that your TPS is in the right position. You're ready to start adjusting TPS again if you want to make that adjustment for performance. Um, for whatever reason, now you know your back factory defaults. Uh, I hope this helps someone. If you have questions, please post in the comments below and I will answer them as quickly as possible. Thanks a lot.